Hey there everyone, this is Daniel playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. In the last video, we came to the dark side and we did the boss rush part of it. We got the Captain Toad moon and we got all the Yoshi moons. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing the hint art. So to do that, we have to actually leave this kingdom and go to a bunch of other places. Uh, I'm going to start with the Cascade Kingdom because I can remember that one off the top of my head. Uh, but there are ten of them, so we will be going to ten different kingdoms, I believe, in order to get all of them. That's the Cap Kingdom. I picked the wrong one. Ah, <sighs> okay. Anyway, um, we're going to be in the Cap Kingdom when we land because I accidentally did the wrong thing. Uh, so that's awesome. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's head over to the Cascade Kingdom now. As you might remember, we could see that Poochie was finding a moon somewhere with waterfalls in the background. Of course, the Cascade Kingdom is full of waterfalls, so that that's obviously where we want to be going. So we're going to head over there. Uh, the Hintards actually have numbers. This is Hintart 1 we're doing. Uh, I've looked them up so I know the order. Uh, I already know the locations, so... I'm going to be doing them in order, I reckon. They're all in different kingdoms, I think. So it doesn't really make sense to do several of them at once. Anyway, uh, here we are back in good old Fossil Falls, which has been quite good to us by letting us have every moon that it contains. Uh, all we want to do is make our way to the very top. Uh, we could warp up there, but just to be fun, I'm going to do a couple of wacky stunts instead. <laughs> just uh, going to climb up here. There we go. Uh, all you got to do is just long jump. Your cap bounce to get over there. You go over here. So we could also have walked to this spot if we wanted. Um. Okay, so the moon is actually over here in this area. You can see there's lots of waterfalls in the background. Uh, you want to get to the spot where there's waterfalls on both sides of where you are. Uh, it's one of these hills, I don't quite remember which. Uh, I think it's this one. So if you line up the camera right, you can see there's waterfalls on the two sides. Uh, sorry, it's a bot. I don't think it is, actually. Uh, let me see. So yeah, you want to line it up so that the hill is in the gap, basically, between two of the two of the waterfalls in the background. I think it's this one. Yeah, see? That looks more like it. And there's the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> uh, the second hint art is actually for the Metro Kingdom. Uh, it's pretty easy. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going there anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing balloon walls in this video. We're just going to be doing hint arts. So. So yeah, that's easy. Uh, all we got to do is just bounce our way over back to the Odyssey. We could warp again, but, you know, navigating around is fun. Uh, and this video will probably be kind of kind of light on content if I just warped everywhere, honestly, because I'm not planning to do things other than the Hintard in this video. Blop. There we go, that's one out of ten. So Hintart 2 is the one with the big H that we saw in the previous video. Uh, if we head over to the Metro Kingdom, we can see it. Oh. Yeah, I just checked. All the hint arts are in different kingdoms, so I will be doing them in order since it takes about the same amount of time anyway. Uh, so yeah, this one, uh, 
It's the one with the big H, and you can see there's like a little yellow sign, little uh, yellow tower thing next to it. Uh, you can see that there's more of, more yellow towers like it on the ground here, but the H is not here. Uh, there's actually an H, I believe, underneath the Odyssey, uh, but there aren't yellow towers next to it. Uh, there's one facing the other way, so it's not here. Uh, it's somewhere else where there's a helipad. And it happens that there's a helipad if you head over this way, and you make your way to the far end of this kingdom, which is not far because, you know, rolling is real quick. Uh, you can climb up this scaffolding over here, which you may remember from earlier visits. Again, we could warp up, but I'm having more fun doing it this way, so... Uh, you can use that power line if you want, but I'm having more fun doing it this way, so we're gonna wall kick over here. Go. As you can see, there's another helipad here with a flag on it. Uh, but more importantly, just next to the helipad, there's one of these little yellow tower thingies. And the moon icon on the hint art is just here. So if we ground pound here, there's the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And that's two dark side arts. Uh, two out of ten, making good progress. Good to bonk into the wall. Okay, so the third one. Uh, I'm just looking. I'm looking at a guide, but just checking the part that shows you what the hint arts are, so I don't have to check the album. Uh, since checking the album requires us to go out of the game and recrouch, and it's annoying. Uh, anyway, the next one is actually in Peach's Castle, so we're gonna head over there. Uh, it's the one that has like the green and white squares uh, from the previous video. We just cash this moon in, and if you recognize where those green and white squares are, you might guess that it's actually the little hedge garden in Peach's Castle. Uh, you can see there's also two spots with purple coins. That's to give you an idea of which way the picture is aligned. So, we head back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, so, you, because otherwise the picture would be completely symmetrical, there'd be no way to know which one is which. Uh, so, we're going to head over to Mushroom Kingdom. taking a bit longer than I anticipated. There we go. Alright, so here's Peach's Castle. And the gardens are just over here. Okay, so if we look at the gardens from above, uh, it's a little tricky to get enough of a camera angle, but there are some purple coins on this side, and there are some more purple coins over there. So the way to align the picture is basically like this. So that's the same way as the hint art. And you can see that the moon symbol is on this side, just here. And here's the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! That's Dark Side Art 3. Uh, the next one, Dark Side Art 4, is actually in the Cloud Kingdom. Uh, so we want to head over there. This kingdom is relatively small to navigate through, so... Not too much trouble getting back to the Odyssey, there we go. A55. Uh, so, back to the Cloud Kingdom now. Uh, it's kind of nice that there's still something to do here, even though this kingdom is so tiny that we did it all in one video. Uh, it's just a hint art, but you know, it's something. Uh, if the picture, this is the one with the little, uh, with like the circles around us, the, the little, um, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, you have a circle with those little, little grey circles inside it, which represent the phases of the moon, basically. Uh, and if you look around here in the Cloud Kingdom, once we manage to get up here, You can see that there's these platforms, which also represent the phases of the moon, in the same way. So, uh, you want to look for the one that's the full moon. 
uh, which is here somewhere. Uh, actually, the, that'd be a new moon, actually, the one that's completely dark, uh, which I believe is this one, the one Peach is on. And that one's at the top of the art, so you want to align yourself this way. So you have the new moon on the opposite side, the full moon on the opposite side, this would be the new moon. New moon on this side, uh, and then if you look, you can see that you have to go two moons to the counterclockwise. <laughs> two moons with shins. And it's this one is the one that contains a power moon. If you stand in the right spot. I may have messed it up. <laughs> Hang on, let's have a look, another look at this. Um, okay, so if I face it that way... Maybe, I, maybe I'm misinterpreting the graphics. I don't know, they're kind of weird. Like, you can see there's a darker spot and a lighter spot, but I don't know which one's supposed to be which. Uh, and this one's like all the lighter color, but does that mean this is the full moon or the new moon? Don't know. Uh, let's assume that this one is the new moon and go two to the left, which would give us this one and see if that's the right one. Doesn't look like it. All right, so let's let's assume instead that that's the full moon. And we want to go from there, we go to clockwise, which gives us this one. Which I'm pretty sure we already tried, and doesn't need to be working, so... Hmm. These graphics are confusing. Uh, I'm just going to try all of them, because I know it's one of these, and the hint art is... It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just puzzling me. Uh. Hmm. No, it's, it's not working. Why isn't it working? It's got to be this one, right? That's that's a half moon, or well, close enough to a half moon. Yeah, this is the right spot. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe I didn't read that hint art. I'm pretty sure I did, though. Hmm. I might want to go back to the dark side and try this one again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, this area is quite large, and you have to be in just the right spot, but it's only marked the entire circle as the spot to be in, so... Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oops. Well, falling down is okay because we'll respawn at the Odyssey. And then we can just use the Odyssey to leave. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. Um, the next one is the one with the big Shavarian uh, archway, which is kind of obvious, really, out of the moons. It's the one with the Shavarian, like, the wreath thingy with the exclamation mark above it. It's a spot you expected there to be a moon before, and there wasn't one, but there is now. So we just head over to Snow Kingdom. I hope I picked the Snow Kingdom. <sighs> yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So yeah, we go to the Snow Kingdom, we make our way down into Shivaria Town. This guide says to enter Shavaria, as though this whole area isn't Shavaria, which is kind of hilarious. But yeah, you drop down this hole here. You want to go all the way down to the racetrack. I'll probably walk back out just to save some time here. Since this one involves a lot of pointless travel. So let's head down to the racetrack, easy peasy. Uh, you may remember that archway there, uh, which has the same wreath thingy that we saw in the picture in the hint art. Uh, and I actually already climbed up on top of this arch and showed you there was nothing there. That's because there's now a moon there, which is the hint art moon. Uh, the hint art moons only show up... Oh, damn it. Uh, it's like the pipe. The hint art moons are only accessible after you've looked at the hint art, which is a little annoying, but makes sense in terms of the way the game works. Because otherwise, there'll be a whole bunch of dark side stuff accessible accidentally 
from basically the very beginning of the game, and it would spoil a bunch of stuff. Okay, so here we are again. Snowline circuit. So we just gotta climb from such way. It's not hard, I'm just messing it up because I'm bad at video games. There we go, easy. Uh, you just have to stand in the middle of the arch here. Ground pound, there's the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, what's the next one? The next one's in the seaside kingdom, so we're gonna head over there. Uh, I'm just gonna probably warp out of this kingdom. You can just walk back to the Odyssey from anywhere. There we go. Alright, so this one's the one that always tended to confuse me. Uh, the, this one is the art with the cut, like, it's cut into four segments. You can see Talker 2 in one, some binoculars in another one, three umbrellas in the third one, and two pillars in the fourth one. And there's a little X between the pillars. Uh, what that means, I'll, I'll explain it when we get over there. Uh... Like, you can tell which kingdom it is, because the pillars and the umbrellas are from the Seaside Kingdom, so you can figure out where to go. Uh, because that style of, um, pillar and that style of umbrella don't appear elsewhere in the game. So, that's the first hint. Uh, the second hint is the fact that, once we make our way over there, if... Come on. Come on. Load the kingdom. There we go. Alright, so if we have a look at our map, uh, we can actually see Talker 2 is in this section of the map. Up here, there are some binoculars uh, positioned, I think, on this island here. Over here, we have the hot springs, uh, which have three umbrellas. And down here, those two pillars are the ones it's talking about. So basically, it's saying the four sections of the map are the four sections to be looking at. Uh, the little compass in the middle helps with that because it's hinting that, you know, you're going this direction rather than that direction or that direction or that direction. Uh, but yeah, so basically you find Talk to who is over there somewhere, and then you have the binoculars over near those two pillars, and then you have the three umbrellas up there in Hot Spring Island, and then you have those two pillars over here in the last quadrant. So yeah, basically the, it's about the way the map is arranged and having to slice it up in a certain way in order to find the right set of two pillars, because there are several sets of two pillars in this kingdom, like the two over near, uh, over there that I mentioned, which are where the binoculars are. So between these two, you just do a ground pound. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Cool, uh, the next one, uh, it, it's the one that rather confused me. Uh, it's the one that says, it's the one that, um, it has two colours of ground and like a shadow, and it's got C4 map coordinates on it. Uh, I thought that that was somewhere in the Sand Kingdom, because it looks like sand, uh, but it's not. It's not anywhere in the Sand Kingdom. It's actually in Forgotten Isle, so we'll be heading over to Forgotten Isle next. Because as you may remember, the uh, Forgotten Isle had some interesting colours of sand on the ground. Well, not sand, like the the, the dirt had some interesting colours. Those red and black colours happened to be some of the colours that were there. So we have to head over to the Lost Kingdom. And then we head to sector C4 because uh, those are map sectors, by the way. The map actually has, uh, like, coordinates for the different chunks. Uh, they don't come up very much except with these hintars, but you can see there's a C there and a 4 there. So C4 is somewhere over here. Um, basically, this, this chunk of the starting area, uh, or possibly over here. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you look at the ground, you can see it's got that blackish ground and the red ground, which are the two colours we're looking for. Uh, and if you just come over here, uh, I believe it's just here somewhere, you can see here's that little pointy shadow thing, which is exactly like in the picture. And if you look at the map, you can see we're in the correct sector. It's this one. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, the next one is in Mount Volbona. Uh, it's one of those... Uh, we had one of these way earlier in the game, where you have two pictures of the same area, and you have to spot the difference. 
Uh, pretty simple, really. Uh, let's just make our way over there. Uh, the difference is that in one of the pictures, uh, make our way over there. There we go. Uh, they're both pictures of Peronza Plaza, so we'll be going to Peronza Plaza, obviously. Uh, make our way over. We'll probably take the rooftops to avoid having to capture a lava bubble, because I always have trouble with that. <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. This video has lots of loading. I'm sorry about that, but that's how it works when you want to do all the hint art at once. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're just going to go up this way to get to the plaza. Just because that way we don't have to capture anything. And so I don't have to worry about the annoyance of capturing lava bubbles with correct timing. There we go. Okay, so we're in the plaza now. The difference between those two pictures is if you look over near these two pillars, um, well, all, all of these pillars, if you look near these pillars, you can see that next to, I believe it is this one with the cannon, uh, in one of the pictures there's actually a Volbonin standing here. Uh, one of those blue, a blue one, like that one there. Uh, but they're not standing there in, in the real level. Uh, so, yeah. this is the spot. <laughs> but, uh, duh, yeah. Uh, the next one we want to go back to the Lake Kingdom. Uh, so we're going to head over that direction. back to the Odyssey, there we go. There we go, so the next one is the one that has a whole bunch of like pillars and some of them are broken and there's a moon just beside them. Those pillars look pretty much like the ones you see in the Lake Kingdom and there's an area that has a couple of pillars that are broken like that basically. Um, and so we just want to go down to the plaza basically in the Lake Kingdom and find the spot with the broken pillars and ground pound between them. It's not too complicated. Uh, and there's just one more after that, which happens to be in Crumbledon, actually. So both um, Nimbus Arena and Crumbledon get an extra moon out of this deal, which is kind of cool, uh, since they're both very small kingdoms. Um, so I like that. I like that detail. Oddly enough, some kingdoms didn't get anything. Like, for example, uh, Steam Gardens doesn't get one in this part. Uh, I assume that's just because there were, there were only 10 of them and Steam Gardens actually got a hint art earlier in the game. So they figured to use one that wasn't as popular for hint arts. <sighs> anyway, um, what we're going to do is go over to the plaza. We actually want to be on the ground floor of the plaza. Uh, so we will need to dive in to do that. Just drop down there, there we go. Drop down, drop down. So these pillars are the ones it's talking about in the hint art. You can see a whole bunch of them are fine. There's a couple of broken ones on the end here. And you want to... Get all these coins. You want to go between these two broken pillars and you want to ground pound. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so the last one, you can see that Poochie's found a moon somewhere that's so, sort of dark and dank and uh, a bit rocky, a bit metallic. Uh, that place is in Crumbledon. Uh, so we're just going to head back to Crumbledon and make our way over there in order to do the tenth and final hint art moon in the game. Uh, once we've done that, we'll be going back to Peach's Castle, because we've done every Hint Art Moon, which means we can get the Hint Art Moon Moon <laughs> from um, Toadette as well. So we'll be doing that too. Uh, but for now, we want to go to 
crumbled in. There we go. This one is very easy. Um, the camera, like, in the hintard is a little bit zoomed in, so it's a bit hard to spot the exact spot, but it's just it's just near the beginning, so it's not too tricky. Uh, you just got to fly over there, make your way over to... Once it loads, here we are in Crumbledon. All you got to do is just notice uh, that right at the beginning here, there's this big clawed out piece, and you can see You've got this part with the metallic-y sort of wall, and the rockiness, and the dirt, and this is the spot, basically. This is where Poochie is, is sniffing. There you go. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! And now, with that, if we look at our moon list for the dark side now, we have all ten dark side arts. Excellent. Uh, all we got to do now... We're going to make our way back to Peach's castle and talk to Toadette. She will give us a moon. Uh, for doing 15 hint arts. We've actually done more than 15. If we look at our list for Mushroom Kingdom, we can actually see how many we've done. There's a little counter. Here it is, 21. We've done all 21 hint art moons. Uh, we only needed 15, but we've done 21, and so we earn one more moon for doing that. <laughs> uh, and once we've done that, we'll just return to the dark side and prepare ourselves for the really hard parts of the dark side. The three remaining sub-areas. Uh, just like the three suburbs we already did, they're based on places we already saw in the game. The only difference, well, I mean, the main difference is that it's, it's, it's capless. They made a few other changes so that it's possible to complete them capless. Uh, but they're really, really hard. And you'll see. Uh, not in this video, though. I'm going to save them for next video. Uh, Alright, so we arrive here in the uh, Peach's Castle Kingdom. You know the one. <laughs> uh, we just head this way. Just go talk to Toadette, easy peasy. And she will give us the last Toadette moon for the game. I always get this one last because I like to do everything I can before going to the dark side. And you can't get this one unless you've done all sun some of the end parts on the dark side. So yeah, we've done every Toadette Moon, which is why she looks so happy and she's doing a little dance. What a cutie. Uh, so in this kingdom, now that we've done that, we should be at 101. Okay. Uh, we can't do light from the ceiling. And as far as I can tell, we can't enter that 2D section. I don't know why. Uh, because we should be able to. And I can't seem to get into any of them now. So... Something's changed, clearly. I don't know what. Uh, hopefully we'll find a way to get into that 2D section. We definitely don't have a way to get into first-person mode, so we can't get live from the ceiling. Which, just like in Mario 64, requires you to stand here and look up. But we can't do that. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, that's all we're doing in this video. We've gotten 11 moons, I think? Yeah. Yeah, 10 plus the... yeah. The ten hint aren't plus the plus the one moon that we got for doing the, the thing with the castle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna head back to the dark side. In the next video, I'm gonna be trying to do probably just one of those sub areas. Um, they're all very hard, and I'm expecting to take several like a bunch of attempts on each of them. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing probably one of them in each video and see how that goes. Anyway, dark side. It's on the opposite side of the list of kingdoms. There we go. <sighs> but for now, that's what we're doing. Uh, this is a 30 minute video of me getting all the hint arts, and I think that's pretty good. Uh. Um, but yeah, so there's six more moons to get here. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have all of the others. And these six are gotten from the three capless sub-areas, which are all very, very hard. So, that's going to be done in the next video, or I'm going to... In a couple of videos, we'll see how we go. Um, but for now, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and we're here on a big expedition. If you want, you can, you can go down here and talk to the... You can't talk to the rabbits, but you can talk to the toads.
Also, you can do a triple jump like this, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, this this demonstrating this toad here, if you talk to them, they just let you know that you can fight the Brutals if you want. You don't need to. Get happy! Uh, you don't need to fight the Brutals again if you miss the Captain Toad Moon, by the way. Uh, you can just take this power line instead to get up to where Toad is. Uh, now that it's been done, this power line now exists. Uh, but we don't need to do that because we got Captain Toad's Moon on the way, so not a problem. But yeah, so if we look at all these hint arts now, we can say they've been checked off, and good for us. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the dark side hint arts being done. Uh, next time, we're going to take on one of these capless sub areas. I don't know which, and I don't know if we'll do more than one, but we'll definitely do at least one, and I'm a little scared, because they're very hard. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hehehehe <laughs>